Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so this is gonna blow your freaking mind, okay? And it should, all right? Conventional wisdom, and particularly conventional wisdom regarding food and diet, I guess you could say, is crap, is 100% bull, okay? I kid you not, everything that you have learned from the point of birth up until now is false. I can almost guarantee that. Please do not click off this video. Listen right now. This is of emergence, utter importance that the world hears this message. And I know I'm just a small YouTuber, but this is so important. This message has been stifled for years, for more than that. And it will continue to be harder and harder and harder. So please listen with open ears and spread the word. Okay, so... Here goes. So, basically, I'll go down the list. I'll start naming things off. Breakfast, for one. The idea of multiple meals throughout a day is bogus. Okay? You do not need to eat more than one time a day. You don't even need to eat every day. And that will probably blow your freaking mind. You probably think I'm crazy. You probably think I'm dumb, I'm stupid. That I'm preaching the wrong message, that I'm unhealthy. I am not freaking unhealthy. Okay, I'm not as healthy as I'd like to be. I'm not. Okay? But I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to discover the truth. And I want everyone to learn the truth as well. I make mistakes, I do. I've fallen into the rabbit hole, the trap of modern society and what they preach. I'm no better than anyone else, but I'm trying to get the point across because I've happened upon information, I've happened upon experiences, I've learned, and this is truly what I've gathered. Multiple meals a day is bogus. You don't need them. You can eat max once a day. And I'm not saying a small salad or something, that's dumb, no. When it comes to the actual food that you eat, you need to be eating real food. You need to be eating 80 to 90% of your calories. Don't count calories, by the way. It's a whole other thing. 80 to 90% of your calories, majority, vast majority of your food that you take in this one meal a day, max, has to be coming from animal protein. Protein, animal protein that is also high in fat, not the lean chicken that you hear preached by bodybuilders. Like a steak, beef, bison, things like this. Things our ancestors would have eaten, would have feasted upon after fasting for days on end, and they have a finally successful hunt, and they have a feast together of this animal protein that is high in fat and they eat as much as they can and then they fast again. You need to be fasting as well. Fasting for autophagy, for mental clarity, for mental sharpness, for hunger. You want that hunger. Hunger is what drives you to hunt. Hunger means hunt. It is never meant to eat. There is no, there's no fridge. There's no cabinet. There's no cupboard. There's no pantry in the wild. Hunger has never meant eat. Hunger means hunt. You need to be training. That is another thing. You need to be working out strength training and cardio every single day. Not, it doesn't have to be a lot, okay? Get your body moving, get walking at this starting level. And it's still a master level. You still need to be walking even when you're top tier. You need to be doing basics, like push-ups and pull-ups and squats, things like this. To do more advanced things isn't bad either. I'm not hating on that. 
but it's really simple when you look at it. Okay, please don't, I'm not, I don't want to lose you. You need to be beasting every day, you know, training properly according to you, you know, working out your muscles, depleting your glycogen. Okay, you need to be getting some type of cardio. It doesn't have to be running or biking or whatever, but just walking, you know, getting your body moving, bouncing around, whatever. You have to be moving, getting your heart rate up throughout the day. You need to be fasting. Don't eat breakfast, don't eat lunch, don't eat snacks, don't eat this BS, okay? Eat real food. So right now I'm still experimenting, I'm still learning, I'm still gathering info and just truly trying to devise what truly is right for us as human beings and what we need. And I'm un unsure exactly as to this portion of the video, but I will be someday. But this is what my knowledge is so far. So you have to eat 80 to 90% animal protein i still stick by that that's still true i believe so that's kind of carnivore you could say but i don't i hate those labels it's not it's not like that but when it comes to like carbs and plants i'm not sure i think like some some fruit most fruits are crap some fruit is good to have a little bit you know maybe like a sweet potato or something but like rice oatmeal like even those good ones like that i don't think you should have that and then obviously excluding everything else in life, all that processed crap, you know, cakes, cookies, you know, cereals, um, you know, pies, you know, everything like pasta, all the, all these things, all these grains and all these manufactured processed foods that are made and that are marketed. That's the only reason that this is made. This stuff is mainstream. It's not for health. It's not for any of that crap. Veganism is crap. It's all marketing to get away from the truth so that they can make money and they can make money on other things. And even further down a rabbit hole, disregarding food is like things like medicine and doctors and all these things that if you truly just focused on your health, you ate real food, you ate animal protein, you ate it once a day or less than that, you trained hard, you got good sleep, you did all, did all these right things for your set, for yourself, for your health, you wouldn't need all this medicine. You wouldn't need all this medicine, okay? You wouldn't need to go see these doctors. You wouldn't have cancer. You wouldn't have tumors. You wouldn't have diabetes. This is mind-blowing crap, guys. Excuse my language. This is a serious topic. And this will not be the only video I make on this, but I had to make this. This is of utter importance. Wake up. Listen to this message, please. The world, as you know it is, has been lying to you. You've been lied to your entire life. Do not eat breakfast. Breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. Do not eat sugar. Do not eat processed foods. Do not snack. Do not avoid working out because you're tired of, you don't want to overtrain or you don't do cardio or don't train. Move your body. Work your muscles. It's simple. You know, we've made it so complex and we've been lost. Eat real food. Fast. For all the reasons, not one reason, for all the reasons. For health, for mental clarity, for discipline, for faith, for spiritual reasons. Everything, for autophagy, all these different things. For fat loss, I, it goes on and on for each thing. And these things would save you so much money. Fasting is free. Anyone can do it. You can start it right now. Though I don't advise that. I think you should feast and have the right meal first and then start because that makes your fast so much easier. But that's a whole other topic. Guys, this, this message is not over. It's not. I, I'm not done preaching this. I'm not done learning. I never will be. But I have to say these things because they are not being said. And that, it's a shame. It's evil that it's not. And people out there don't have your best interest at heart. I do. I want the best for all of you. So please hear this message. Subscribe. 
so that you can hear the info that I will bring to this channel. I'm here to spread good. I want you all to know the right things because so many people don't and they, they have this belief that all these mainstream things like breakfast, like not working out, like, you know, like eating vegan, you know, all these different things, you know, caffeine, drugs, and when we started down that rabbit hole, all this stuff becomes normalized. People pulling vapes out their pockets, inhaling God knows what. They need their caffeine, their monsters, their bangs, their energy drinks, their rains, whatever, because they don't have natural energy themselves. They need to eat every hour. However often you eat, they need to eat all day long. They don't get restful sleep. Guys, I, I'm just getting a lot of it out there right now. This isn't concise right now, but I'm bringing light on this message to you guys because it needs to be done. And I will further do it to the best of my ability to bring this knowledge to you all. But I had to start saying stuff like this because it has to be said. Semen retention, pornography, neglecting that. Waiting until a true proper marriage for sex. All these things are so important and they're neglected. I will, I will bring this information to you guys, but I can't do that. It makes it harder for me if you don't subscribe. So please like and subscribe, share this message. You won't regret it. I will make it worth your while. I'm here for you guys. God bless you, God loves you. Love him back with all your heart. Have a blessed day. Thank you.